Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To Tutorials, brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited, where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to add a watermark to your PDFs in Review 21. You can add watermarks in review simply by creating a stamp and then flattening that stamp. Flattening a stamp, or any other markup, ensures that the item is integrated into the PDF content layer. This makes stamps unalterable and usable as a watermark for you documents. You'll first need to create a custom stamp with your logo before adding it as a watermark. This example assumes some familiarity with stamps. If you are not familiar with stamps, please refer to our video on how to create and use stamps in Bluebeam Review. From the menu bar go to Tools, then Stamp, and click on Create Stamp. Set the opacity to 30% and leave the template field as blank. If you want text or dates in your stamp, you can select those options under the template. Click OK. The stamp is created, and opens in a new review tab. In the New Stamp tab, select Image from the toolbar on the right and choose a desired image from the File Explorer window. Click inside the stamp outline to set the image. Resize and orient the stamp, if necessary, by clicking and dragging the box handles. Once your stamp is formatted to your liking, save the stamp by going to the menu bar, and clicking on, File, then, Save As, and naming it. Now you can apply your watermark to multiple pages and documents at once. Using batch features requires you have Review 21 complete. Here's how. From the menu bar, go to Batch, then, Apply Stamp, and the dialog box will appear. Select, Load, to upload your watermark to a saved batch. Or, Select Add, to add individual files, folders, and or subfolders to create a new batch. Any active PDFs or open sets will automatically be included in the current batch. In the Pages column and drop-down menu on the right, specify the pages you'd like your watermark to appear for each document. Select your watermark from the drop-down menu under Stamp or browse your local drive for the applicable image or file. Edit the opacity, rotation, position, etc. as needed. Press Save, near the top to save. Click OK to apply the stamp or watermark to your pages or documents. You'll now need to flatten your stamp on all pages or documents where it was applied to make it a true watermark. To do this, from the menu bar go to Batch, then, click on Flatten Markups. In the dialog box, select Load, to access the batch you just applied your watermark or stamp to. Under Options, deselect all the markup types except for Stamp. Be sure to select Exclude Filtered Markups. Uncheck Allow Markup Recovery, Unflatten. Click Flatten. Now your watermark is flattened into the PDF content on applicable pages and documents, so it can't be moved, edited, or deleted. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the How To series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve. 